Joe Budden knew this was going to happen as soon as he came out speaking against Puff. And I feel like he even said it on the podcast. Like that was part of his hesitation. Because anytime he tries to voice his opinion on these things, people are like, yo, you hit broads too. You got a pass too. And he's like, hey. It's like Chris Brown trying to interject anything. And people are like, Rihanna? It's like the ultimate shut up card. But Tahiri, Joe Budden's ex, you might have seen her on Love and Hip Hop with him a long time ago. She came out like, yo, this whole shit took me out. So hard to watch. So sorry for Cassie and every other woman who is currently going through it or has ever gone through it. It's tough. And she's like, F-O-H, who? The irony. This is so triggering. I remember Joey throwing me down a flight of stairs and dragging me back into the house and me having to talk him into letting me go. That's a crazy story. And Joe Budden also did talk about, you know, real toxic things he went through with Tahiri as far as him hiding in her house, under the bed. And this is out of his own mouth. So you know their relationship wasn't perfect. But her saying this, and there's been other little things said about Joe Budden from other women, you can look it up. And I know Joe Budden ain't no angel. Anybody who's paid attention to his career knows he's not perfect. For him to talk about these things, I feel like, hey, he's a voice. And if he's against it, yeah, that's what's up. But I also don't feel like he's playing like he's so righteous and he just has no understanding for how anything could ever go wrong. So, I mean, you know, I'm not saying how Tahiri should feel because I wasn't in the situation. But you know Joe Budden wasn't going to take this and just be like, you're right. So he responded. The fact that he called her a failed gold digger, that's what did it for me. I was like, he is mad, mad, mad. It's like when uh, Drake told him, yo, I got a private jet. You have a modest single family home in New Jersey. (laughs) Like when you get that descriptive, you are like, I'm trying to get you. I'm going to cut you with this knife. So (laughs) he said, the last time I saw you, I purchased a mattress from you. You were happy you made the sale. You were fine then. There was that night after Starlet six years ago when you invited me inside your new place. You were fine then too. And then he talks about how she was on his body during Love and Hip Hop, tried to disrespect the mother of his child, and calls her a low vibrational Dykeman con woman. Woo! Came for her neck. (laughs) So... I mean, it all comes down to who do you believe in. I don't think Joe Budden's really going to face any crazy backlash because this is stuff that's been out there if you paid attention to him or them at all. And I don't know. It's just messed up. Two exes that ain't never going to mess with each other again. What's crazy is they were there for each other at the beginning. Her for him, like Joe Budden TV way back in the day, she was on that. And I think they talked about allegedly how she put her name on him being able to get a Mercedes and, you know, just real relationship stuff. There's a video of him. He's laying up in the bed. She's about to go to work. So it seems like that was his ride or die who held it down. And now it's like, yeah, turn it into strangers. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Do you think Tahiri's out here lying and doing all the things Joe said? Is Joe just on his new image and... You know, he's so above it and she's allowed to speak her truth from the past. Y'all let me know. Hit that like all crazy. Hit the subscribe and I'm going to see y'all soon. Peace.